Hello, welcome back to Brand Sushi Live. In this episode, I'm gonna take a look at this add-on by Thomas Cole. Uh, it's basically called Blender Sims to Sewing Pattern. So this add-on is allowing you to turn a 3D mesh into something that looks like a like a plush, you know, like a plush doll. Um, and you work uh, by simply creating sim sim of pattern that then it's gonna use close simulations in Blender to create your 3D mesh, okay? So that's the idea. I already have this installed and I'm using Blender 2.90.1. So let's get started. So in order to make sense of this, I will give you an example that's using just a basic primitive, okay? For example, um, with a cube. So with the seam, you need to be really careful. Um, so basically the idea is uh, Blender have this thing that's called uh, make seam or command E and then mark mark seam and normally this is something that uh, you use in combinations with UV editor so this is the original UV for example and I have this seam for this box if I ta uh, tap on U unwrap it's gonna try to unwrap it uh, using the seam Currently, you can see the, the unwrap result. It's not it's not great because of the seam. It's not it's not all square. I'm gonna mark the seam at the bottom and tap U again. Unwrap. So this one slightly better, but this one's getting pulled everywhere. So with it with the thing thing like box, uh, we can actually just mark seam on every edges. If we unwrap, we have nice uh, pattern that we can seam together as a plush. Uh, so this actually will work with uh, this seams to sewing pattern. So you can export the sewing pattern as SVG. You can actually do the close simulation now. So I will do that right now. Seams to sewing pattern with the number of triangles. I'm just gonna leave it to default. Remesh, okay, just do it, okay. So this has been uh, turned into something like the cloth, right? And if I apply the quick cloth simulations, run the simulations, we have our plush. Kind of a, you know, you can put a fur or a, 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 I don't know what to call it, like synthetic material to turn this cloth into something and then we can weld it. You can weld it together and you know just add subdivision or whatever so but this is our plush okay we are done with it we can we can perhaps just um, apply it so we have our box let's say uh, I'm gonna give you another example with a cylinder so this is another primitive cylinder with this guy this guy already have seam actually and we can perhaps just use the island create seams from island so we can yeah apparently we can do that if we do if we use this um, we might have an error let me save very quickly so this is a seam cloth add-on so this is a seam based on the island and I'm just gonna seam to seam pattern this one probably not 100% great. If we run this class simulation, it's just gonna it's gonna be out of whack because our sewing pattern is not great. Okay, apparently it works. Surprisingly, <laughs> yeah, surprisingly it works. I was thinking maybe it's a better idea to actually just add more seam around this area and this area, or oh, you know, like like make make a cut. So in this case, it's a uh, you have a lot of freedom to make the seam. This is this is actually for close simulations. So if I do that, create seam pattern, quick simulations, run it again. So this one settle faster. This one still works magically, uh, but this one I think is more stable. Um, so we have another plus being created uh, let's do another one with 
a donut. Okay, with a torus. Oops, where is our torus? All right. So with this guy, this is our sim at the moment. It's not great, but I'm gonna go to selection mode, and I'm gonna select this while holding options click. So this is option click to select the edge loop and then I can command E and mark sim there if I select all and then tap U unwrap is we're gonna get this okay it's not it's not great this one is not great we better off uh, I'm selecting another edge loop and then command E once again and then mark sim and unwrap again so this one is better we have a scene that's kind of squarish, and we can work with this seam to swing pattern. Magically, it's gonna turn into this thing with all these edges. Quick close simulations. Run it again. Now we're gonna have. Uh, look, we're gonna have our torus, more or less. We might need to add more pressure on this guy with a close seam pressure set to 60 maybe put it somewhere there it shouldn't be overlapping so we should hopefully have our torus back or maybe this we need to do something here with the with the seam. So currently we just have like, yeah, it's it's okay I guess. But that's basically how this add-on can work. So with things like Suzanne, Suzanne is actually slightly different because the eye is separate. We we have seam um, around this area. Actually, we can cut it around here and around the eyes. But the eyes need to be merged together so we can create scene based on island. Currently, if we do that, I don't think it's gonna work because this eyeball is separate. We need to merge it together. So Suzanne is slightly tricky. If you have a text, text maybe we can try. What's letter? What letter do you want? B. Okay, B. And extrude it, therefore, remesh modifier. Zero four in zero two, for example, smooth shading. Okay, command A. Oh, cannot apply. Okay. Because this is a text object, you have to do F3, convert to mesh. So we have our mesh now, we need to just mark the seam. Can be slightly tricky with this guy. But, okay, we can do it this way, you know. Command E, mark seam. No need to be perfect. We need to mark seam around there, all this area. Let's do that very quickly. Unwrap. Okay, definitely we have that. That's not great. We need to maybe make a cut around this area. If the seam is correct, we're gonna have better result. So we're gonna have a lot of cut all around this guy. Yeah, I guess this is better. There's that area. What is this? We need to sync the selections. Okay, around this area, it's a lot of 
and I think the same thing. Maybe I need to make, make another cut, but anyway, maybe this will work. Object scene and do a cloud simulations, go back to frame zero, run the simulations. Hopefully, this create our letter V. Maybe it will fail at the bottom there. Yeah, I know it's crunching up. Yeah. So my uh, my seams cut must be a little bit wrong. Okay, pressure of one hundred. Yeah, apparently it's crunching up. Around that area, but you get you get the idea. This is uh, so the add-on allows you to create seam pattern that you can test inside Blender before you actually make a cut. Um, if you do the objects export seam pattern as SVG, this is something that you can <clears throat> you can use proper cloth and sew them back together and then just put the synthetic. Uh, feather or whatever inside it so it's become like a real plush but I think it it can work in it's interestingly I think we can use um, the sculpt trick to work together with this so if we, for example with Suzanne right Suzanne is actually quite a slightly more tricky with this guy uh, right. so you want to perhaps with Susan, you can try using sculpt mode and then using something called face set and you paint the area that you want to be the seam right oh I should fill everything first but anyway this is my idea is to mark the seam this way And once you get all the seam created, you separate each part into a separate islands, and then you mark the seam, and then you run the simulations again. So this is probably a better thing to try, you know, uh, something to try. Maybe, maybe I'll do another video just talking about Suzanne um, and how we can use the face set to separate. To create separate islands for our cloth plush okay all right so that's pretty much it hopefully you find this useful let me know what you think and i'll see you next time thank you bye